Here is the email that was sent to my new guest that I have invited to my team. And so now we will go from the guest perspective of getting signed in to the team that we're using with guests. And so I have my email address. I have some information here, a little bit about Teams, but I'm going to click where it says Open Microsoft Teams. After clicking on the link, a new window will open, and I have the option here to set up our account with Microsoft. And so you will see this is within our Fresno Unified uh, School District organization. And so I have my email address that uh, was used to add me to this team. I will now create an uh, eight character password. And I have the opportunity to change my display name. So I will change this here to Matt. I'm going to receive a verification code, so I need to check my email. And here is the email that I received to verify my account getting my code. I will copy this code and go back to verify my account. Clicking finish, I'll agree to the terms and conditions. I'm now being asked at the login screen if I wish to stay signed in. And so if this is my personal computer, um, I know that this is information is safe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click yes. We will review the permissions. I'm going to accept. At this screen, I do have an option to use the desktop application of Teams. For this demonstration, I will cancel this and I will go to the web app instead. This will be the online version of Teams or Teams Online. So now I have access to the team that I have been uh, uh, I've been made a guest of. And so I can turn on desktop notifications. I'll go ahead and turn that off or dismiss. And you'll see, so now the channels that were created, I have access to my class meetings, the other channels as well.